Hey, art friends, we're so glad you're with us again today. We're going to be doing another cool cutout project, right? Yeah. With construction paper? Mm -hmm. Awesome. What is it going to be? A Goliath beetle. Yeah, for this art project, we're going to use a lot of construction paper. And we're also going to use scissors, a white Prismacolor, and a Sharpie, and some glue. Yeah. So if you guys have all that stuff, you can pause the video and get it all together. And then follow along with us. If you don't have construction paper, you could just use regular white paper, printer paper. Yeah. Yeah. Ready yeah. to start? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So here's all of our stuff. We're going to be using uh, black construction paper, blue, orange, and red. And then we have that white Prismacolor Sharpie. We have our scissors and our glue sticks, right? Yeah. Okay. So the first step is we're going to start with our black, uh, black construction paper and our white Prismacolor. And if they, if our art friends don't have a uh, Prismacolor, that's fine. Any white colored pencil should work for this. So we're gonna first fold our black construction paper in half. And that's because uh, Goliath beetles are symmetrical. So we're gonna draw one side of the beetle, cut it out so that we have the other side exactly the same. Okay. Okay, so we got it in half. And we're gonna take our, our white Prismacolor and we're gonna draw the thorax first. Okay. Okay. So we're going to make sure that we draw on the closed side or on the folded side so that we're going to draw our, here we go. We're going to draw a big circle, well, a half circle, right? Mm -hmm. So we're going to start here and we're going to do a big half circle like this. And this is for his thorax. So the middle part of his body. And when you come into the center, you want to be, you want to come straight into it. Awesome. Good job, man. Okay, now let's do his abdomen. So we're going to come out from the thorax like this, and we're going to do a big back all the way down to the bottom. And when we come back into that fold, you want to make sure that you're coming right into it, straight into the fold. So that means that it's coming in like this, not coming in at an angle. Oops. Yeah, so come straight in. There you go. Good job. Okay, now let's do his head. And they kind of have weird shaped heads. So we're gonna start up here, and we're gonna come out and up like this, and then back down, and then back out. So it's kind of like they have bunny ears. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna come all the way out like that, and then back in. Good job, man, it looks awesome. All right, okay, now let's do his first leg. So we're gonna do a big uh, upside down U shape coming out of his thorax the top here and then let's draw a longer a longer U shape comes up for the next part of his leg good awesome okay now let's do the next part of his leg another U shape can be a little thinner good you got it almost Nice. Okay, now let's draw his toes. There's little hooks, his claws. Hooks. There's a little two banana shapes. <laughs> he has two, he has two bananas. bananas for fingers. I wish I had two bananas for fingers. Yeah. I'd never it. be hungry. They like if you eat one, <laughs> if you eat it, it'll just grow back. Yeah, that would be super awesome. Right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's keep going. <laughs> All right, let's do his next leg. So we're going to do another U shape coming out of the side of his thorax like this. And we're going to have to bend it so that fits. Good. Now let's draw a big one, a longer U shape on its side, like this. Nice. Okay. And then we're going to bend it down, his next part of his leg, down like that. And then let's put those banana fingers on there, his <laughs> claws. <laughs> I like bananas. <laughs> Actually, I'm not a big fan of bananas. <laughs> <laughs> I know you're not. There you go. You need to clip his toenails. <laughs> yeah, they're getting a little long. Okay, now let's draw his last leg. So we're going to do one more uh, big U shape coming out of his abdomen. Okay, and then we'll draw his the next part of his leg coming down. Awesome. Okay, and then the last part of his leg. Further down. 
Awesome. And then claws. Bananas. <laughs> Okay, well, while we got it, nice, there you go. good job. Okay, now while we got it like this, let's go ahead and add one eye right here on the side of his head. Okay, and then we're gonna cut the we're gonna cut this out. Okay. But let's fast forward. Okay. And then okay. our art friends can pause it and they can do their cutting out. Okay. Okay, let's go. Right, nail cutting out. Good job, Chuckers. That looks awesome. That was a lot of cutting, huh? Yeah. But he looks super cool. Mm -hmm. So if we open him up, he looks symmetrical, huh? And that yeah. means the same on both sides. Okay, but let's finish the lines so that they look the same on both sides, okay? okay. So let's go over here. We'll start with his abdomen and we'll do we'll finish that circle. So or the oval. We'll come all the way around and we'll finish this back over to the other side. Yeah. Awesome. Then let's come up here and we'll do his head. I'm going to put his eye on there, his other eye. Nice. Eye. And then we're just going to do that for the rest of his body. So let's go ahead and fast forward, okay? Okay. Nice. Now we're going to put the pattern on his thorax. Okay. And they have really cool patterns. So we're going to do a line that comes down the middle of his thorax. And we can also, since it's a, kind of a natural pattern, it's okay if it doesn't look perfect. Like it, it can be kind of scribbled on there, huh? And then we're also going to do another shape that comes out. And that makes a V shape on the side like this. And then also on the other side. So it'll make a diamond. And I'm just scribbling them on there so it looks natural. And then we can do another one on top of that, right next to that one. That look awesome. Yeah. Looks really cool. Okay, and then I'm going to do the same thing over here on this side so it's symmetrical. It's like two diamonds on top of each other. I'm going to color this in on the outside so it's a little thicker, the line is thicker around the edge of his thorax. And do this over here too on this side. He looks wicked awesome. Okay, now let's do his head. <laughs> so we're going, to put, uh, we're going to put a curved line here and a curved line here and we're not going to color in his bunny ears. We're going to color in everything else except for his bunny ears. <laughs> <laughs> All right, good job, Chuckers. Look how cool he looks. Also. Give me five. Now, we could leave him just like this. Yeah. Super simple, right? Mm -hmm. And he looks awesome. But we're going to do a couple more things to make him look even cooler. Okay. Okay, so we got our red. Let's go ahead and bring that over. And then we're also going to fold our beetle in half again. And then we're, we're going to fold our red piece of paper. We cut it in half since we don't need a whole sheet. We're going to fold it in half this way. And then we're going to slide it in right here under his abdomen. Good job. Is it big enough? So let's slide it down just a little bit more so that you have room down here to trace it. Okay, so now we're going to get our Sharpies, and we're just going to trace right here. We're going to start where his thorax is, trace there. We're not going to go around his leg. We're going to go through, come out the other side, and then finish down here at the bottom. Okay, and then we can do the same thing with our orange sheet of paper. Good job. So let's fold our orange sheet of paper in half. We could do the same thing. Come over here and trace that one as well. He 
good. Okay, now let's put our uh, beetle off to the side and we're gonna complete these lines, okay? So uh, we're gonna connect this line to the edge, to the folded side, and then we'll connect the gap right here. Good. So that, that shape is all the way completed and we'll do the same with, with our orange piece of paper also. So complete that to the edge and then connect these two lines. Good, now let's cut them out. Okay. Cool checkers, okay, now we can open those up and let's complete uh, these shapes. So we're gonna draw all the way around the outside just like we did with the beetle. Yeah. Okay. Okay, now on our red shape, this is gonna be the outside of his, the hard shell. And so we're gonna put a V right here at the top and we can color that in. Then we can draw a line all the way down the middle, and this is where his shell will split so that his wings can come out. Awesome. Okay, now let's switch to our orange, and we're going to split this down the middle also. So I'm going to come uh, over here, and I'm going to put two lines down this one. And if That's okay if you put it right down the middle, but I'm going to put two because we're gonna split this, and these are gonna be his wings, okay? Okay. Awesome. Good job. Okay, now from the top corner, we're gonna start right here, and we're gonna draw a line that comes down, and then it curves right at the end like that. And then I'm gonna Go ahead and do that one, and we'll do the next one. This is his wing. We're going to make the cool design on his wing. Okay. Awesome. Okay, and then we can come back here to, to this point where we first started, and we'll do another curve that fans out and comes down. Awesome. Okay, and then I'm going to do it again. Cool, and then one more. Okay, and then we can do the same thing on the other side. Okay. okay. Now let's take our the red uh, shell of his uh, abdomen, and we're gonna cut down the center, but you don't wanna cut all the way. Just cut, you can cut to the V or you can start, stop even a little shorter if you want. Okay, so that should be split like that. Then we're gonna cut our wings in half all the way so that they're completely split into two parts. Good job, all right, okay, now let's put these off to the, off to the side and we're gonna bring our blue piece of paper over and our beetle okay and then we're going to glue him down to our our blue background okay the next step is we're going to put our red our the red part of his abdomen down but we want to do this so that it's not glued all the way down because we want his wings to be able to fold out so we're going to take our scratch piece of paper a red scratch piece of paper fold it in half there you go you can just take one piece and fold it in half, and then we're gonna cut a little hinge off of this piece. So this is the folded side over here, and I'm just gonna cut a little square out of that scratch piece of paper, like that. Good, okay, now we're gonna take our glue, and we're just gonna glue one side right now. So we'll glue one side, and then we're gonna stick this one side so that it folds we want the fold up at the top and we're going to stick it to the top of his shell right in the middle like that so it should open up like like a little hinge okay and then we're going to glue this side of the hinge we'll turn it over and line it up and then press it down So his shell will be able to open. 
That's awesome, huh? Yeah. Okay, now we need to get his wings in there, okay? So we can open them up like this, and his wings are gonna be a little bit different. They're not like this. We're gonna glue them so that they're like this, and they're gonna hinge so that they open like that, okay? So it's a little tricky, but we can line them up so that they look like this, and we're gonna leave them just like that, and we need to make two hinges. Yeah, the easiest way to line it up so that it's right is to, sorry, is to line it up like this, the way that we traced it, and then flip it over like okay. that. Is that cool? Mm -hmm. Okay, and then we also want to make sure that it's below the hinge, so we don't, we're not, we don't want to glue them above the red. So we want to make sure that this can close on top, okay? Okay. All right, so we're going to leave it just like that. We need to make two hinges just like the red one. So we can take our orange scratch piece of paper and we can cut two more squares out of this hinge. So I'm gonna cut straight down the middle, like that, and then straight across, like that. We should have two pieces that look like this. Okay, and then we're going to open up this one and we're going to glue on the inside of one of the tabs, okay? Only on one side, so one half like that. Okay, and then we're going to slide. It's a little tricky, but this is so that it will open up. We're going to slide the, this, uh, the tab that's not glued underneath the wing and then fold it over so that the top glues down. So it should look like that and should be going off to the diagonally. Yes, just like that. Okay, I know it's a little confusing, but it will make sense once we finish. And we're gonna do it again. We'll repeat it on the other side in case our art friends are a little confused. So now we can flip this over and we're gonna glue this side of our hinge. And it's just the hinge. You don't wanna get any glue on the wings. Then we can flip this back over and line it up and then press it down. Make sure that it's not on top of the red. Yeah, just like that. Yep, yeah. yep, and then press it down. So when you're all done with that, with that wing, it should open up just like that. Cool, that's awesome, it worked, huh? Yeah. So let's do it one more time. Let's repeat those steps for the other side. So we're gonna open up our hinge and we're gonna glue Let's glue the top half up here, okay? Okay. And we're gonna slide the unglued part under and then fold it down, press it, and then we're gonna flip this over and glue this side. Make sure we don't get any on the wing. And then line it up and then press it down. <laughs> okay, so now we, when we close them up, his wings are kind of hidden. Look at that. That's okay. cool, huh? That's all right. That's totally cool. Then we can open him up like this and pull his wings out like that and then press his, put his uh, shell back down and he's got his wings out like he's going to fly. That's super awesome, dude. Give me five. <laughs> I love it, man. He looks way awesome. I like it when he's all closed up too. So. This is a really cool, this is a cool project. It's one of my favorites. I love Goliath beetles, man. They look really awesome in person. Yeah. We hope you guys had a lot of fun making your Goliath beetles with us. I'm sure they turned out super awesome, huh? Yeah. Yeah. We'll see you later, our friends. Goodbye. Bye, friends.